Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, my name is Chanel, the owner of Three Balls Handmade Soaps and More. And in today's video, I'm gonna be making this sea moss, ginger, and lemongrass soap. All right, y'all, so as always, I have everything out on my table that I'm going to be using. And since this is a sea moss soap, we're gonna be using some sea moss gel. Now, if you would like to see how I made this gel, I will have that video linked down below. We also have some poppy seeds here that I'm just going to put on the top, just a little bit on the top for a decoration, as well as we got some ginger root here, some fresh ginger, and I'm going to be making uh, ginger juice for this soap. So, and then we have, of course, the rest of my supplies. If you're new to my channel, I have multiple bowls over here. That way, in the event that I mess up, it's a lot easier for me to correct. All right, so right now, I am just going to clean off my table, and then we will go ahead and get started. All right, so first up, we're going to go ahead and cut up this ginger. I did wash this off camera, and I'm just going to cut my ginger into chunks. I'm not worried about the chunks being small. Uh, me needing them to be small because I am only getting the juice from the ginger now you can also peel this ginger if you like I personally chose not to peel this and just cut it up as is just cut everything up and I'm just gonna blend up everything now if you do decide to use puree instead of the juice you can always boil the ginger and that will make it a lot softer Alright, so now that I have all of my ginger cut up, I then added in, at first I started out with just about a cup of distilled water, and then I went back and added in a little bit more. So altogether, I probably added about two cups of distilled water to my um, ginger root to make this puree. And then once that was done, I then proceeded to strain the puree so that way I could get the juice and y'all this ginger was smelling so good all right and right here I am just pressing down on this pulp so that way I can get the juice out of there and I do believe that I may have pressed a little bit too hard because I did end up with just a little bit of some of the puree left into my um, juice, which I wasn't worried about it because I'm gonna strain this again. And here is our juice. Y'all, this ginger juice was smelling so good. And that right there is just a little bit of the skin. Again, I'm not worried about that because once I strain the lye water solution before it goes into my oils, that will catch that part. Now right here, I am just going ahead and weighing out the rest of my recipe. And for this soap, I did replace 50% of my water with uh, ginger juice and the other 50 was replaced with sea moss gel. So once my oils and my ginger lye solution had cooled down to room temp, it was time for me to go ahead and strain it and add them together. Now since I am adding in some more ingredients to this soap, clays, as well as my essential oil and the sea moss, I'm just going to stick blend this until I reach an emulsion. Now the difference between emulsion and a trace, if anyone is wondering, emulsion is, emulsion is once the oils, once all of the oils and water lye are mixed and you no longer see oil on top. Trace is when uh, once the saponification starts and it starts to thicken so that is the difference if anyone is wondering and right here i am just going in with my sea moss again this right here is the remainder of my liquid so i'm just going to make sure that i scrape my bowl to get everything out so 
So once my sea moss was added, I then continued to stick blend until I reached my desired trace. Once I reached my desired trace, it was time for me to go in with my essential oils as well as my clays. Now for this soap, I did use my Glacial Marine Green Clay. I did two teaspoons of clay and I also went in with some ginger and lemongrass essential oil. The ginger, I only used just a little bit because I didn't want the ginger to be overpowering so I went in like I said just a little bit of ginger and um, the rest was lemongrass once I had everything blended together it was time for me to go ahead and add this soap to my mold and by this time as you can see, the soap have really started to accelerate, which that was expected. I have the essential oils in here. I also have the clays in here as well as the sea moss. So, and then, you know, the ginger juice. So it was expected, but I'm just going to continue to scrape out my container and try to get this out the best I can. And here I am just tapping my soap on the table, trying to somewhat get it, hopefully get rid of whatever bubbles that may be in there. But as you can see, I didn't have much luck because the top did not budge at all. Now, right now I'm just going over the top with my spatula to make it look somewhat decent. And if you guys are enjoying this video thus far and you have not done so already, please consider hitting the subscribe button as well as liking this video. This helps the channel out and it also tells YouTube to push our videos out to more people. So thank you to those of you that have hit the subscribe button as well as the like button. We really do appreciate it. Once I was done texturing my top, I decided to go in with just a little bit of poppy seeds and all I did was just sprinkle them along the top. Alright, now the very next day, it was time for me to cut my soap. Well, honestly, I actually could have let it, I could have let it sit maybe another day but I went ahead and took it out the mold after about 24 hours or so. So here I am with the soap and from the looks of it, we got a full gel. However, this soap right here looks like it has really been through a rough time. But needless to say, it's still gonna, you know, it's still gonna, we're still gonna be able to use it, okay? But however, the looks of it is not by far my best soap at all. And here I do have a little crack at the top, but Again, the hose is from the acceleration, um, and that right there at the bottom was just, it was, I, like I said, I could have left it in there maybe another day, but it is what it is. And right here, I am just going to cut this soap up.
right so right here i am all done cutting up my soaps and right now i'm just showing you guys that little small hole that was in my soap now to cover any little holes you have all you got to do is just just rub your finger across just keep rubbing your finger across the hole and you will eventually see it close and that will work if the holes are small like what you just saw now right here i am just uh, lining up my soaps so that way i can get ready to stamp them and I will have all the details about my stamp listed in the description box. And that is it. That's all I have for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you have not done so already, please consider subscribing to our channel. To all of our wonderful subscribers out there, we thank you guys so much. And I will see you guys later.